Hello, I'm Claire from Wild Ginger Running, the trail and ultra running YouTube channel. Last September, I was at the finale of the Golden Trails World Series at the Skyline Scotland, and I asked some of the top international athletes like Meg McKenzie what strength work they do, why it's important for trail runners, and some of their essential moves. Do you do strength work every week? Comment below to join in the discussion and check out my hit playlist here for quick and straightforward strength workouts to improve your trail running. Remember to like the film and take a look at my Patreon page for monthly competitions and perks from Wild Ginger Running. This film is powered by Ellis Brigham. Their new trail running range is now available in 24 stores nationwide or shop online at ellis-brigham.com. I do do strength work. I think it's important to do some sort of strength and stability work. Uh, use the bow saw ball. Uh, any, any strength work I do, it's with light weights. Um, or it's sort of leg raises, stuff like that. I always do a lot of core as well because I think it's important to keep your core strong and everything else sort of works off that. So if you've got a strong core, it sort of, um, it goes out to the rest of the body as well. So really important. For me, the core strength is really important. Um, since I have been away for being getting a mom I really needed to work on that a lot in the beginning now it's more about being in the terrain which helps me to get this strength as well but yeah it's to prevent injuries I think I would propose you to do some things um, some few things once twice a week some 30 minutes and it helps already a lot to do uh, to run injury free and maybe also faster and with more fun I think I found when I was younger I, and I was running faster times than I'm running now but I used to get injured every you know I had one whole season injured um, I'd have tight hamstring hamstring problems and then I was introduced to strength training and uh, I mean hardly dare I say it but for the last I haven't had a injury that stopped me running for more than a about a week in four years so and the only and, and I'm the only thing I'm doing different is the strength training so it's, the, it's injury prevention, that's the, I think that's the key. Yeah. I do a lot of strength work, so normally I do my strength work in blocks, so before my racing season, so like December, January, I'll do like a big strength block with lots of weights and get really strong and then as it comes towards racing season I taper off the strength work and then I just do maintenance with uh, no weights, just body weight um, stuff and then uh, if I can feel during the season that I need to do a couple more sessions in a will. Um, but I, I do the daily movement every single day and then I try and do like one other focused body work session a week. Um, I think it really helps and over time uh, just that consistency of effort builds you up into like um, you can just handle so much more which is really, really cool because then the more you can handle, the more you can run, the happier you get, the more you enjoy it, the less injured, so it's really cool. Definitely, I've done strength work in the past. Honestly, like I've had an injury now for about, uh, about a year and eight months now um, with my feet. And because of that, I've been just trying to like get back to running comfortably. And so I haven't been doing the strength work that I've needed to for probably about six months now. Um, and like, I do think it's like imperative to do strength work and it's really important in the, that staying healthy. Um, I've been you know, kind of keeping up with some yoga, some basic hip stuff that I need to do to keep my hips healthy and stuff. Um, and so that, that strength side of things is really important in keeping you healthy for running. I only started doing it uh, maybe like six months ago. Um, I didn't used to do like any strength work at all. I used to just run, run, run. <laughs> um, and actually six months ago, um, I got a coach for the first time um, and he got me doing some strength work. Um, and it's interesting um, that, how he explains it. It's not necessarily, it's not gonna make you faster or stronger, but it's really there. Well, it makes you stronger, but not as in a stronger runner, but helps prevent injury and just making you more of an all round strong rather than just having, cause I think I had really strong legs but my upper body was much weaker. So I think um, it sort of makes you all round stronger. Um, and I guess when you're on more technical stuff, having that strength to stop you being injured, um, protect your bones. I know it sounds a bit silly, but if you're strong, you, it sort of protects your whole, whole self. So I don't do loads. I do sort of two 30 minute sessions a week. So I don't spend, and it's not in the gym, it's all stuff at home with like a ball and small weights. It's nothing too serious. 
I always say how important strength work is and the rest of our team do actually do a lot of strength work, strength work and they work with personal trainers to do that kind of um, aspect of their training programme. I don't really do much and I think that's partly because I'm, I don't know, as a mum of two with a business of my own and kind of husband works abroad, I find that time management is really my biggest area of, you know, problem. So I, I guess I, it's an area that falls out a lot for me. Um, I think that because I do quite a lot of scrambling and climbing and that kind of thing when I can, I think my core strength is probably slightly better than maybe somebody that doesn't do that. But I don't have a very, you know, I don't have a particular program every week for doing that. And I, I know that I should. And I think I always think when the kids go to school, that's the element that I'm going to bring in. Um, but yeah, I, but I, that's definitely not to say that it's, it's not important. It's just an area that I unfortunately am struggling to fit in um, in the early mornings when the kids are waking up. Stuff like that. I, I, I'm pretty bad about it. Uh, I think naturally because I run a lot of orienteering, it's like when you run through the terrain and you you always have to stabilize. It's kind of natural strength, well core strength. So this suits pretty well for me. But I'm getting older, and uh, probably it would be good uh, to to do some uh, some strength workout. So, why I've, do you think it would be good to do strength? Uh, because, well, also as a work, is I'm a dentist, and uh, like I, I feel sometimes that my back is kind of off, and like we just know that if you're very stable in your daily life, also as a runner, it will it will help you be uh, be healthier or has have less. Uh, uh, problems with your with your body, well, like with your mechanical part. So yes, I warmly recommend it. But I hope you guys are better than me. <laughs> Is it going to help? For sure. Yeah, it's going to help. Um, and so the like you can do some, and it's going to help a lot with the running. If you're injured, sometimes just trying to get yourself healthy enough to be able to run on an everyday basis is kind of the main goal. And then you kind of set that stuff aside for a little while. Yeah, and then just before New Year, I was like, I was going to start getting involved in doing some more strength stuff. And I started circuits classes. And, you know, I've been running for, what year are we on? Uh, 17 years. And I've only just started it in January. And, oh, I wish I'd started it years ago because I already feel the benefits of it. My hamstring injury is completely cleared. I feel so much stronger. And, yeah, so I'm really, really enjoying it. I think it was more about creating a habit and now it's part of my structure and part of my training regime and I seem to have dropped a lot of junk miles which I might have done and replaced it with a 30 minute circuits class so yeah I just go along to my gym and I do 30 minute classes because 30 minutes is fine anyone can do a 30 minute class so um, yeah I've started this year and I wish I'd done it years ago so yeah I already feel the benefit of it.